Hello, welcome to my daily live Facebook webinar about PDF to CAT conversion. Today I will speaking how you can convert a scanned drawing into full editable CAD drawing with vectors, with text, with hatches, with line types, with everything what we need and with layers. This is not an easy task because if you scan something you put into the PDF a raster picture and, and um, in this case you can't speak about PDF file this is only a raster picture in a PDF frame and there's really no difference if you scan it as JPEG or as a TIFF or if you scan it as a TIFF and then you make a PDF. If you scan it yourself better make a grey scale TIFFs don't make JPEGs because JPEGs are in bad quality because they use a special compression methods use on a grey scale TIFF but grey scale it mean from black over every grey scale to white Grayscale don't mean black and white because if you scan it black and white you lost a very very important parameter you can use during the vectorization. This parameter name is threshold for the color black. This is what I want to show you now in my webinar and now please look on my screen. Okay? I start our program print to cat AI with standard setting or with default settings. I don't choose here something. I start here the program and now we have here in this program default settings. I will choose a spatial file and let me open this file with our internal viewer. And you see this is very very bad quality file. This is a simple scan made by simple scanner and it was um, a letter format and I put it on our scanner in uh, so the scanner was our uh, so universal printer and you see this was a very um, dirt bad quality uh, old drawing. You see we have here a lot of dirt and you can see for example here in this uh, this one zero one is here almost connected here is connected with this point and now if you want to vectorize it or for example if you want to recognize that this is one 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 dot uh, dot five first you have to know you have to find out that it was a dot and then this looks maybe like m but this is of course one 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 and then uh, you can see that optical character recognition and raster to vector are very very complicated method because this is a mixed drawing we have here beautiful curves and we have here but we have here our so at edges when and for example for this part we need straight lines and for this part we need a uh, curves like this is a mixed drawing and this is the very very so, uh, big difficulty if you want to vectorize this drawing and I show you how you can vectorize the drawing using our program print to get. In this case you need a lot of parameters. The most important parameter is the threshold for the color black and white because every vectorization is made in is made after we change this drawing into black and white drawing. And the parameter threshold for the color black and white decide what kind of gray color will be white and what kind of gray color will be black. And for example we want that this point do not connect to this one. We want that this one do not connect to this zero. So and now you see this gray color have to be white and this gray color have to be white too. And now it is very easy. Go here on color info, pick this color and now you see this color info E5 E D62 is our uh, can be our grayscale. Of course, this is here not a gray. May, maybe this is now here in color drawing. But you can take here this 5D as um, 
the darkest color and this will be our grayscale. If you want more info about it, look on our page regarding threshold. We explain exactly how it works. But now only remember 5D is our gray color. And this very important parameter you will find here under vectorization, vectorization 3. Here you can switch off the automatic calculation of optimal threshold and now you can see here, here we have hexadecimal numbers and now we try to find here 5D. This is like here in this direction 5 and this will be now D. Mm -hmm. Up here. Now this is our optimal, optimum threshold. This is a very, very important parameter because with this parameter you deconnect um, the symbols from each other and this parameter can uh, make really a magic in your drawing. But the drawing has to be color drawing or have to be grayscale drawing. If you have a black and white drawing, this parameter is out of range because everything is black and white and you can decide with this parameter um, about what color will be now black and what color will be white. As you see now, this gray will be black and this gray will be white. Okay, let me see what's happened. But I go again here under vectorization and I use for vectorization of this drawing the method center line tracing and outline tracing combination. So how, what is the method is doing? The method is following. For the long pixel traces we use now a from the long pixel traces we use now a center line tracing and for the small pixel traces we use an outline method. Why? Because you can't really vectorize small symbols because in a small symbol you don't have enough information for well done center line tracing and this is the reason that we use for the small symbols outline method. Only long pixel traces you can vectorize uh, using this center line tracing and this long uh, pixel tracing then you can smooth and then you can uh, you can use it in your CAD. But show again to my please show, uh, look again on my screen. The conversion is ready and now let me look what has happened and uh, see here following. I so uh, I use here for this long pixel tracing center line tracing for the small um, for the small um, pixel tracing outline and here the program was able to recognize a lot of horizontal vertical lines and for example here in this case the program was able to recognize I would do it, so, a lot of circles. But you see here was going something wrong. I'm going now again to our threshold and the threshold was not uh, so correct because this point is connected with this one. It is what we don't want. And now on the vectorization, vectorization 3, we can decrease it. Like we take less black will be now white. And let me do it, so for example, 40. You can, this is the, um, how you can, how you work normally. You, you try it and then you will find the correct threshold. But believe me, this threshold is the most important parameter. And look again here on my screen. I close the drawing and start the conversion again. and view and now you see with the help of this parameter now this this point is no more connected with the one zero one and this parameter is very very important parameter if you use an automatic optical character recognition of a text. Because I switch here only the vectorization of the drawing, I never switch here any optical character recognition of a text, but what I'm doing now, I activate now automatic optical character recognition. And let me go here again to vectorization 3, you see 
Hexadezimal 40 or decimal 64 is my optimal threshold. And I use this threshold under optimization, text recognition, automatic recognition of a horizontal text. Of course, we have here a mixed text. Maybe 90% uh, of this text is horizontal, but 10% is vertical. But don't take care for it. I, we will recognize all horizontal text correctly. And if we recognize this vertical text not correct, you can delete our, uh, our recognition and activate so the original drawing. But this method, uh, automatic text recognition, is very, very, uh, very, very comfortable method to do it. OK, what I'm doing now? Um, I switch here. Uh, under image threshold, I switch here uh, to, to this threshold, hexadecimal 65 or 64, what we had in this another drawing, 63. And see, this we have here this threshold too, because this threshold is very important for, uh, for text recognition. Now, in the preview, you can see that this threshold deconnect Oh, no. Here I want this threshold too big in this case. Let me make it again smaller. Maybe here 54 and preview. Okay, and now you see, oh, this not again not connected. Okay, that, let me use this threshold 60, 58 for our recognition. And now we start the conversion. Because this preview is based on another threshold. But you will see after this correct. Okay, here is a lot. Here we recognize a lot of symbols. What is not a text? But as I told you, don't take care for it. It's very important that we are able to recognize this text correctly. And now the problem is here, of course, this number was not correctly recognized. But if you see here, this one 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 dot five or here 103.7, they are correct to recognize. And you see, the program was looking for horizontal text and to recognize it. For example, in this case, the program was not able to recognize that this is 111.7, because here we had a lot of disruption. And this is um, only handwritten drawing. We are doing here the best uh, so that we can recognize so much as, uh, so much symbols as we can. For example, here, what is this trap? This one disturb it a lot. And because we don't uh, know this kind of symbol, we was not able to recognize that this is maybe one. This can be M. We found we found no any sign, and then we decide, okay, take uh, we don't use it because it looks uh, very unusual. But you see here one 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 dot five. We was able to recognize. We was able to recognize this 103.7 too. This is what I wanted to show you in my webinar today. Uh, so how important is this threshold for the color black and white if you try to vectorize the drawing from a scanner? This is everything from in my short webinar today. Download um, this program and put your drawing on the scanner and try to vectorize it, try to use this, uh, use these functions we offer you. We offer a lot of different functions for Rasta to vector. We offer in our program a lot of videos too. And you can download this program, print to cat on the page dwg.rocks or dxf.net. If you visit dxf.net, you can download the program. And now, Thank you very much. Next webinar after Memorial Day on Tuesday. And as I promise, I will show you in this next webinar how you can install and how we can use CAT system on a virtual server, on a virtual instance from Amazon. Thank you very much. I wish you a beautiful holiday days. And see you next Tuesday. Bye bye.